Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So recently and of late, Microsoft has been bringing a lot of visual changes to the Edge web browser for desktop. And most of these changes are hidden behind experimental flags, mainly in the Edge Canary browser and also the Edge Dev browser in the Dev channel. And both of those browsers are preview versions. And these changes are hidden behind experimental flags, which you would have had to enable to get these features to work. And um, it brings a couple of um, changes that match the more modern look and feel of Windows 11, especially when it comes to rounded corners and some other changes. Now, um, most of these changes have been met with positive review, but there is uh, user feedback um, from some users um, uh, on Microsoft's feedback hub and also to some extent on this channel. I have seen some comments um, where users do not like some of these changes that Microsoft is bringing. So to permanently disable uh, these features and disable the flags, um, we're going to do a search for three flags today in this video. And uh, the first two are to do with rounded corners and disabling these flags will revert the browser back to its original so-called normal look and like you currently get in the stable version of Microsoft Edge. So if we type in rounded, that will bring up the first two flags, which are to do with rounded corners. And the first one is Microsoft Edge rounded corners. And this will bring the uh, rounded browser frames to the actual frame of the browser, which I haven't received yet because this is on a controlled rollout, even though I have enabled the flag. And then the next is make rounded tabs feature available which brings the rounded corners to the tabs and also gives the tabs that visual effect of actually hovering and so-called floating above the actual browser. So what we have to do, obviously, we have to change that from enabled to disabled. Now, don't change it back to default because if you change it to default, and Microsoft can always make this a default feature and then obviously... Uh, that will then reintroduce that feature back into the browser. So if you don't want any of these features, disable it, which will permanently disable um, those features. And just on a side note, as I have mentioned previously, flags are not options. They are experiments. So Microsoft can remove any of these flags at any given time, but currently this will work. So those are the first two flags you have to disable. Then the third flag to disable and the last one for this video uh, would be the profile picture which has moved recently so for that we have to type in minimal and that's microsoft edge minimal toolbar experience which um, has moved the profile picture to the top left and placed that in the title bar where previously obviously that was uh, in the top right of the toolbar so we change that as well to disabled and now we restart the browser to permanently disable those flags and now you can see once we've restarted Edge Canary in this case, uh, the browser kind of looks like it does in the stable version of Microsoft Edge, where you can see that the tabs are no longer rounded and do not have that visual effect and representation of kind of hovering and floating above the browser. Yeah, you can see the profile picture has uh, reverted back to its original position. And if you did have the rounded browser frames with the rounded corners, those would also be reverted back to the, the original square look. So that's how you can revert Microsoft Edge back to some extent to the original look and feel, how it is currently in the stable version, by just disabling those flags uh, in the preview version of Microsoft Edge for desktop. And obviously, if you want to revert those changes and reapply those rounded corners and move the profile picture and revert it back to the, the uh, title bar, you can just go back to those flags and just re-enable those flags. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.